Good morning, all you lovely rebels. I'm Sadie. And I'm Logan. You still have time to get your purple ribbon cards, the yearbook wants your pictures, and flu shots are now available. All this and more today on K-Rub. Homecoming ticket sales continue today in room 3203. Tickets are $10 and you need your ID to purchase. If you would also like to purchase a homecoming t-shirt, that will be an additional $10. Yearbooks are still on sale, but they are now $70. West Monroe High School only accepts cash and money orders, but no personal checks. You can still order the yearbook online through our website link on Edline. Character Counts members will be selling purple ribbon cards for the Family Justice Center's second annual Say No to Domestic Violence slash Dollars Against Domestic Violence project. These cards are $1 each and will be sold during both lunch shifts on the Rebel Boardwalk until Friday. By buying and signing a card, you are telling your classmates and friends that you are honoring and giving hope to women and children who are living in violent homes, celebrating those who have, served, who have survived domestic violence, and remembering and mourning those who have lost their lives due to domestic violence. The Key Club will meet tomorrow at 7.20. Everyone needs to attend and snacks will be provided. Our club will meet today to work on homecoming maid signs. Meet right after school until about 4, 4 o'clock in Miss Lingefeld's room 1107. National Honor <coughs> Society members, the election results are in. President Levi Slack. Vice President Alex Dixon. Secretary Dina LGR. Treasurer Catherine Farr. Historian Anna Sitt. Chaplain Jansen Boyd. Reporter Skylar Winters. For Sergeant at Arms, we have a tie between Sarah Green and Zachary Walsh. We will have a runoff election beginning today and ending Monday at 3 p.m. The library is celebrating Teen Read Week through Friday. Remember, if you check out a book, your name will be placed in a drawing for a Duck Dynasty bobblehead. Come by the library on your lunch shift and check it out. We have winners to announce from Teen Read Week. William Cole, you won the Jace bobblehead. Jordan Stevenson, you won a hat. And Andrew Furson, you won the Duck Dynasty bracelet. Please come by and please come by the library and pick up your prizes and congratulations. Mr. Lovelace's driver's ed class is full, but Coach Osborne is signing up for a driver's ed class that will begin Saturday, October 19th at 8 a.m. and will meet before school at 6.30 each morning for the following two weeks and after school on Thursday for two classes. The cost of the class is $295 cash or money order. Only the first 40 students to bring their money will get in the class. Come see Coach Osborne in the PE gym for more information. Students, did you travel anywhere cool this summer with your family, or did you, ask, did you get asked to homecoming in a creative way? Did you take pictures to capture the moment? If so, the Rebel Air staff would love to see those pictures in the yearbook. Please send those to Ms. Kuiper's email, kuiper at opsb.net. Teachers and staff, don't forget, you may wear jeans every day next week for a small donation of $5 for Relay for Life. Give your donation to Mary Clark, Amy Daigle, or Cindy Lemoyne. Students, don't forget, tomorrow you wear pink. Go pick up a pink Rebel shirt in the Rebel store to show school spirit. Students, flu shots are in at the clinic. Come by the clinic to schedule your flu shots before they run out. They will be given on a first serve basis. First come, first serve basis. In senior news, don't forget to come see the career coach and guidance to apply for college. College applications are fast approaching, and December is the last time to take your ACT for scholarship consideration. Grambling University's high school day is October 26th. ULM's Browse on the Bayou will be November 9th, and Southern University and A&M College's Roundup on the Bluff is Saturday, November 16th. Come see the career coach and guidance for more information about how to register for these events. Juniors, the graduate shop located at 4203 Cypress Street in Western Row is open until 6 p.m. Monday through Thursday, the entire month of October, to accept your junior ring orders. If you have any questions, stop by and see Mr. Lewis. Next week is homecoming, and you will get to attend the assembly on Friday. However, <coughs> if you would like to attend the show on Thursday night, tickets will go on sale Monday in the main lobby at 7.30. Tickets are $5.00. The Thursday night show is actually for the general public, but if you would like to see a more tailored version of the show or be there to hear our homecoming queen and maid of honor, then you need to plan to buy tickets. Corporate sponsorships are also available. Contact Mr. Odin for more information. Every Thursday night is Rebel Choir Night at Sports City Grill. Stop by there on Thursdays and support the choir just by eating supper. Good luck to the football team as they travel to Ruston tomorrow. Everyone get your spirit ready for the pep rally on Friday. 
West Monroe High School has been entered in a contest sponsored by State Farm agents Blake Wheelis, Kim Dute, ben, ben Duty, and Pam Cardo. The premise is pretty simple and supports safe driving choices for all drivers. To help us win, you log on to CelebrateMyDrive.com and choose West Monroe High School. Then you click Making a Commitment to Making Safe Driving Choices. A person can vote once a day per email address. Anyone who is 14 or older can vote. The only local schools entered are West Monroe High School and Neville. If we win, the school is awarded $100,000 and the student body is, tr is treated to a concert by a Grammy winning, winning, arti winning artist. Everyone go vote. Voting it begins tomorrow and we cannot let Neville win. No. Y'all have a great day, West Monroe. Don't do drugs. Bye. <laughs> Treat my